Okay, and finally, new rules. Someone must tell the usual suspects on the far left that the saying is, when you're in a hole, stop digging. Despite having one of the worst cases of Trump derangement syndrome, that in his case may be completely incurable, there are moments when Bill Maher gets it. And he's having a hard time that the left isn't getting it. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! You can't handle the truth! Hi, I'm Pastor Marty. Welcome to the Afternoon Drive. Please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. And once you are, smack the bell, click the word all. That will give you notification of my rants, my ravings, my undeniably flawless reasonings. Hey, please like and share this video. It's the only way that we can get the word out that we're here. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of the Afternoon Drive. You do? Is, is, is this a question? Even the one concession I've heard a few people on the losing side offer that liberals should stop saying the Trump voters are stupid comes with a kind of unspoken parentheses. <laughs> we know they are stupid, just don't say it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I got bad news for you. They don't have a monopoly on stupid. The Democrats are doomed in 2028. You heard me. And no, that's not hyperbole. They're doomed because unless they're ready to do some real self-reflection, they still don't get it. We're going to make this really, really simple. Number one, Kamala would not answer direct questions. Anytime she was asked, what are you going to do? The American people aspire to be better, and I'm going to help them aspire to be better because decisions need to be made and once those decisions are made then the decision is made you know th this this continual glop that is somehow supposed to pass as an answer uh no simple direct question what are you gonna do on day one i'm gonna close the border i'm gonna open the border i'm gonna cut taxes i'm gonna raise that what whatever it is just say something you never ever gave a direct answer to a direct question. And when you talk about the economy, stop with the, well, I grew up in a middle-aged home. No, you did not grow up in a, in a middle-class family. You did not. You did not, you did not, you did not. But that's beside the point. You, you, you never gave people nuts and bolts things. You can you can talk about Donald Trump being orange man and clown man and that you know he speaks like a third grader. He speaks in sound bites that the American people can grab and grasp and wrap their head around and say yes. Now I'm going to cut to the chase on a lot of this because this is all stuff you've heard. There is one thing that Donald Trump tapped into without saying it. And the American people didn't really say it. And the pundits on both sides aren't saying it. I will. Leave me alone. Democrats are the party of, we know more than you, we're better than you, and we want to make you be like us, so you're going to do what we say. And the American people have said, leave me alone. Let me go to work. Let me earn money. Let me be able to afford to buy groceries, buy a house, afford gasoline, and raise my kids. Just everything else. Leave me alone. Stop lecturing to me. Stop preaching at me. Just leave me alone. And that is what the Democrat Party is refusing to do. It's why none of them are being self-reflective right now. And somehow we're sexist. We're misogynistic. We're racist, despite the fact we elected Barack Obama not once, but twice. Bill Maher gets it. And he tried to help the Democrats... And again, they're not listening, but it's at least fun to hear someone from the left kind of get it. You wear queers for Palestine t-shirts <laughs> and masks two years after the pandemic ended. <laughs> and you can't define woman, I mean person who menstruates. You're the teachers union education party and you've turned schools and colleges into a joke. 
Seven times 13 is not 28. Yes, it is. Seven times four is 28. Mr. Chandler, seven times 13 is 28. Seven times four is 28. Did you ever go to school, stupid? Yes, sir. And I come out the same way. Yes, if only we weren't so irredeemably unenlightened, we would have elected a black president by now. Oh, what, we did? Oh, all right, and then re-elected him. Maybe you missed it because it wasn't on TikTok. <laughs> and sexism? Hillary got three million more votes than Trump. What did you say? Democrats run for office as if the voters don't live here as if they don't go to the grocery store and Starbucks and the office, but they do. They live here and they actually see women and people of color. And it doesn't look like some patriarchal racist nightmare. Do problems remain pertaining to racism and sexism? Of course. But a poll last year asked if America is the greatest country in the world. More blacks and Hispanic Americans agreed with that than the white progressives. It asked if racism is built into our society. White progressives agreed with that at higher levels than black and Hispanic people. It asked if government should increase border security. Same result. Hispanic Americans are less okay with illegal immigration than whitey. <laughs> the votes are in. They don't want your pity. And black people can't afford to indulge rich white people's need to endlessly flagellate themselves. They just want prices to go down and good jobs and the police when you call them. Black people, they're just like us. That's what I thought you said. The basis for democratic campaigns has become, we're the smart people. That we know from the get-go. No need to look into that. We know that a priori, which is a Latin phrase the red hat people wouldn't have a clue about. <laughs> but they don't need to. Have you seen my In This House We Believe lawn sign? See, it says right on it, we believe in science. Right, which is why you demanded no one even debate whether COVID could have escaped from the one lab in the one city where they were studying it. How far-fetched. The New York Times called it racist. Democrats have become like a royal family that, because of so much incest, has unfortunately had children who are retarded. <laughs> And the same thing can happen to ideas if they are also conceived in an atmosphere of intellectual incest. Maybe take the clothespins off your noses and actually converse with the other half of the country. Stop screaming at people to get with the program and instead make a program worth getting with. Mm.